Hello, in this video we are going to talk about um, some important information for calculating x-bar charts and R charts. Um, the scenario that we're usually facing in making these types of control charts is a situation where every day or every hour we go out and we collect some information and every time we collect the same amount of information. So what I've got on the screen here is I've collected, I've gone out and collected samples one, two, three, four times, and obviously that's going to just keep on going forever. But um, each time I collect data, I'm collecting six readings. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and the important thing for, uh, as far as calculating these control charts is the number of data points we collect each time, that is how big the samples are. And so in this case, because we are collecting six pieces of information, we will say n equals six, that is our sample size. Sample size is size six. Um, and then uh, the things that you will graph in some upcoming videos. One is the average value each time. That's called the X bar chart. Um, the averages, or X bars, um, if these are the X's and you take the average of them, we'll call that X bar, of course. Um, I assume everyone knows how to take an average. We just add up these six numbers and take the average. And if you want to double check that, the average of these five numbers should be 15.97. The next row is 16.03. Those, of course, are familiar numbers, but the one that you're probably not as familiar with is the idea of the range. And the range is simply the difference between the biggest number and the smallest number. So looking here, our smallest number is 15.9 and our biggest number is 16.05. So if you take 16.05 and subtract 15.90, you get uh, 0 0.15. So our range value is 0 0.15. Um, then our next one, if we look here, we have 15.87 as our smallest, and we have 16.12 as our, as our largest. So if we take the difference between the biggest one and the smallest one, we get a range value of 0 0.25, and we just keep on going. So for control charts, for X-bar charts and R charts, we need to calculate the average every time and we need to calculate the range every time. And they're very simple to do. Um, and they allow us to create two different charts. In the X-bar chart, we're looking to see what happens to these averages. Are the averages staying consistent over time? That is, if we're making tortilla chips, um, does every bag of tortilla chips does the average stay around the 16 ounce target that we are shooting for? And that's an important thing to know because if that gets too big, we're giving away tortilla chips. And if that gets too small, we're shortchanging our customers. Um, but the range chart gives us a different view on that same information. How much variability is there every time? They're not all gonna be 16 ounces, but if we uh, discover that we have more variability all of a sudden, well, that means something's not working right in the process and we need to go investigate to find out and, and do some root cause analysis and fix the problem. So X-bar charts and R charts are two very important ways we can study the consistency of our process. I hope this has been helpful.